Good morning. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic weekend already, whether it be Friday or Saturday morning. Got myself a coffee. Delicious oat milk flat white. Ready to attack the day. Speaking of attacking. Tongs is in the chat. Biggest attacker of them all. How you doing, Tongs? So delicious, so delicious. Playing a different type of bass? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I was gonna actually play some Rocksmith today, but um, I've been doing running recently, um, like non-stop running, and my muscles are sore. So I don't think I could have stood up for too long, um, at least not with a bass, because it's, it's kind of heavy, but that's all good. It's getting into a new, new hobby, right? Like, I mean, I don't know if running is a hobby, but something that I have to get used to. Uh, once the muscles start to get good, then I'll be ready to go. So, Payday. Payday 3. Very, very fun game. Um, I've been playing this with a friend of mine, Mark. Um, we've been going through each level at a time and trying to increase the difficulty. Um, so, even though I've beaten this mission before, I mean, it's not going to be a super long stream, but um, even though I've beaten this mission before, I want to show you how the stealth works because every time I've seen people play this It ends up to be an absolute clusterfuck because everyone's just shooting each other and, and all that. Guns shouldn't even need to come out, really. Unsecret Crush, how you doing? Good to see you. It is my face. One with no beard, is that what you mean? Oh, really? You should see my face. Oh, it's because... okay. My rocksmith streams, because my room is so short, it's long, but short, I can't fit my whole body into the camera. So that's why you don't see my face. Now you see my face, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. And that's what she said. That is what she said, exactly. Yep, for sure. All right, so I'll quickly just show you guys what masks I have. I got a fair amount of money, which is good. Um, I'll go to my appearance. I've gone for this um, vanilla rice looking dude, um, but I've got some, I've got a bunch. Psycho, how you doing? Yeah, you rob banks, exactly. Um, it's really, really cool. So the idea is to try and rob a bank stealthily so no one catches you. But then if people do catch you, then the guns come oh, out. Oh, happy Easter. <laughs> Thanks, Scoop. Um, yeah, but hopefully no guns will come out. Um, because it's more fun when you do it stealth. Um, yeah, so I got this uh, Le Fantôme mask, which uh, it's, it's kind of cool. You can sort of add colors and all that. That was the first one I bought. Then you got this alien looking mask which I, I like the look of, I think it's pretty cool. Got this Art Deco Egyptian looking mask. Um, this one's the default mask, which is some crazy clown. Um, but I've been using the Cupid recently. I don't know why. You don't start with the mask on, exactly. When the guns come out, the mask comes on. But anyway, let us start, and um, I can talk you guys through it. It's very, very fun. This small bank has an unusually large amount of cash in its vault. No rest Let's for the wicked. Back in the saddle. Do private. We'll start this off with normal small branch difficulty. Bank, usually low traffic. But there's been a kid. How you doing? Transport schedule, meaning there's a lot more cash than usual in the vault. Exactly. Decide how you want to do this. Got to rob Meet the, the banks because Rocksmith is uh, no longer a money maker. Vault. Or go in guns blazing and burn your way through the roof. It's your call. You've done this a million times before. Crime Diana, hey, exactly. There's no rest for the wicked. Hey, if someone wants to do a target, I'm more than happy to do a target. Here we go. Let's let's give it a shot. Your target is down. Good luck. Ben Riket is is in for some trouble. No. I think you were done the other day. Uh, although it is completely randomized, it's not like um, it's basically all my all my followers um, have been put in there, or at least they were at the time. 
Man, how good is coffee? Like, legit. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. So the good thing about this is, um, you no matter what you do, you always have bots, right? But the bots actually stay outside and don't do anything until guns go blazing. So it's kind of good because I can go and do all my stealth stuff without any issues. Gonna be cold. What's cold? What are we? What are we? What are we talking? The bank's vault is brimming with cash, waiting to be transported out of there. All right, so this here Lots is the of bank. Lots patrolling the building. Keep your eyes open. So we're in a public area, so we can walk around no problem, no issues. One of the funny things you can do is, so you can attack this from different angles. If you wanted to go loud, you could put on your mask and tell everyone to get down, and you know the, the usual sort of Pulp Fiction style the security gates door is magnetically robbery. Sealed. You need to take out the power before you can disable the lock. We can close the shutters, Find and I don't know why this is it. not an illegal activity, because, let's be honest, if if someone walked into a bank and started closing the shutters like this, you'd be like, come on. I'll do it for good measure, anyway. It's too sunny, guys. Gotta close this. All right. So I've got this ability, um, there's a full skill tree and all that, but this little um, dude icon in the bottom corner that just disappeared. Oh shit. Um, there, that little um, icon in the center. Whenever I walk near a civilian, it gives me a thing called rush, which allows me to do illegal activities in front of civilians. Not um, video cameras or uh, um, security guards, but at least civilians, I can just do whatever I want. So. I'll recharge that, go over here and we'll quickly lock this door. There we go. Sneak in here. Pull the power. Next up, take out the switch box's security. The controls are in the power room upstairs. Steal this money. How hard can it be to welcome a small gathering of friends who want to sit together? The hardest part is there's a safe here. And so what happens is if this little little buff that I'm getting runs out while I'm picking a safe, they'll see me and report my um, activities. So I'm going to try and do this really quickly. It's it's very hard. Okay, it's reset. Oop, already fa failed that. Oh, I don't like my chances. Shit. Okay. That's more like it. Try again. Of course, expect to sit together. That part doesn't seem to have been too much for you, man. Not me. Can I do it? Can I do it? I don't mean to tell you your business. You can go over the um the number by a couple. That's most as long as you're quick. Oh yeah. They almost caught me because my buff ran out, but I can steal all that cash now because why not? There's also some money over here that I want to get. Oh shit. Okay, so the security camera can see me. I can't do illegal shit in front of the camera, so. Oh. Where is that camera? There's never been anyone by that name. What about his famous Carbonara? Max is so fond of it. I must say Some of the incidental dialogue is really good too. Go Alright, time to get out of here. That's how stealthy I am. Alright. So, I disconnected this power over here. And what this does is it allows me to open these canisters. These, um, canisters. Uh, what do you call it? Little cabinets later on in order to open the vault door. There's the vault there, but there's this locked door here. So now what we're gonna do, let's go around the back. Okay, so there's a guard there. Quickly open this door for later. Actually, I might need to go in here quickly. 
There's a guard that patrols here. You can see him here. There's a guard. And he's got a um, he's got a keypad, a key pass on his on his belt, the back of his belt. So I'm gonna try and steal it. Okay, I can go in this private area. Civilians won't really bother me, but um, as usual, the um, the guards will. There's another guard that I need to steal the key card off too. There's two key cards in total. Okay, let's see where he is. Alright, there's also, um, in the vault is a, some documents I need to steal, and the way you do that, you need to find out which safety deposit box it is by searching through this paperwork. This could be something. A Wixia executive apparently has a safe oh, deposit box in this bank. So now I just have to figure out which one it is. Office, try to find out which box it is. Yeah, well, it's on Game Pass, Killer Kid. So if you wanted to play it, um... I would definitely give it a shot with you if you wanted. Oh shit, this is going to be tricky. Alright, see there. This is, this is going to be ballsy. Okay, unlock that. I'm going to hide in the kitchen for a second. Two was free on Epic? Nice. Yeah, I've got two as well. Um, I just like... So, so far, three has sort of evolved on the um, the mechanics of the first... Uh, the number two. And I'm really enjoying it. Like, stealing the key cards and, and, and all that's great. Um, just keep in mind, I've got a friend that has um, AMD stuff in his computer and... For some reason, it keeps crashing the desktop for him. Um, but everyone, like, if you're on a... Um... NVDA should be fine. Okay, private area. I'm going to deliberately get caught. Hello. And the reason You can't for this... be in here. This area is restricted. I think you took a wrong turn, buddy. I sure Please did. follow me. No worries. Let's do it. Um, so he leaves his post. He's the computer monitor guy. That he monitors the cameras, but because he's left his post, now the cameras don't work, which is what I wanted. So... If you are just in a private area and you get caught, he will always escort you just to the... It's kind of like Hitman, really. He'll escort you to an area that you're allowed to be in. If you go outside this circle, he'll try to handcuff you and then, like, just... you screwed, basically. Oh, I've got to steal his keycard. What about that? Please stay out of restricted areas, okay? No worries, thank you. Yep. But since the cameras are turned off... It's a little bit more relaxed. Like that. Don't mind me. Oh shit. Okay. Gotta see. It could be on the roof. The um the red key guard door. I'll quickly check. Nope. It is on the second floor as well. I don't know where it is. Whoop. Shit. for him to patrol yeah exactly stay out of here you're not meant to be here and then I just just follow him back actually while I wait for that I can go and check some more documents oh good the safe isn't there so I just uh, touched the civilian to get my boost back so I can search through shift without them caring 
that's been making a lot of profit. Oh, but why? See, they are looking for a silent partner. Sure, but you still have an answer for the question of why. Almost got caught. That would have been disastrous. An internal investigation shows that the baby formula was mixed out with plastic. Um, it's a skill point that I earned. You can go in different ways. For instance, when I play with Mark, he goes sort of like um, hostage manipulation skills. I'm always stealth. Like, I'm the one that is cracking the safes and things like that. Um, so he'll usually pull out his, like, put his mask on immediately and sort of stealth with his gun. And so he can grab people. Um, I can't grab people without with my mask. Um, off. Shit. Shit. Yeah, as long as you don't get caught, you can walk around with your mask, no problem. Um, but that means that every area becomes kind of like a secure area. They'll attack you on sight. Money! Okay, cool. Holy shit, he's there already. Alright, touch this. Alright. So here, we want to open up the door that gets to the safe door. So if we hack this... This will give us the colour of which switch to flip downstairs. I really love that it's like a puzzle to be able to hack into the safe. So we go over here, open the gate. Okay, so it's a blue cross switch here. opens the door. Check out the guard. <gasps> I thought I had my stealth camera on. I think I'm okay. Usually I've got a little camera that I can throw on the wall and look around. Drop it! Oh, oh shit! shit. All right, well, here we go. I'm not hanging around. Time for another strategy. Hit the floor, sunshine. You'll need thermite to burn your way into the vault. You know what? I might as well just vote for a restart. Because we're going to do this stealth. We don't need to do guns blazing. So, rule of thumb, don't use my cameras because I don't have any. Fatality. Oh, Danny Dyer would be a good, um, because uh, the previous ones did have like, um, DLC guest that bank's character. That vault is full of cash, waiting for um, transport. Like, John Wick was a character. I More believe. guards than usual patrolling the building. Stay sharp. All right, I'll be able to, um, quickly smash this out. We need to get past that gate in front of the vault. Stolen. The gate door is sealed magnetically. You have to disable the power or you won't get it open. Find the circuit breaker that powers it. Okay. Uh, one of the other things you can do, I'll show you now, just because I can. You can actually cut through the windows. I never do it this way though. There's no reason to. Um, when you do restart, it keeps the seed. So each each time you play is different. It, it randomizes it unless you restart the mission and then it keeps the seed so you know where everything is makes it easier civvies. Oh, I've already got the boost. All good. So the camera can't see me. Come on, turn around. Alright, back to where we were. Uh, what gets randomized? The rooms. So this room that I'm in now, that can be randomized around the building. It can either be on the roof or over near the elevator. Same as the surveillance room. Uh, camera placement. 
The switchbox it's randomized. security is disabled. Now go for the electrical power source. And also, oh, that's right. So I can't hack this bit because I didn't disable the um the power earlier, which is fine. I can go do it now. But the before I had a blue crosshair. That is also what you can um, that gets randomized. Stolen. Yeah, I heard somebody talking about that. What did he do? What I can do. Hello. Hi. You can't be in here. This area is restricted. All right, follow me. Let's do it. After you. And so this is the easiest difficulty, but as you go up in difficulties, it doesn't just get harder and like, you know, people do more damage with bullets and things like that. They add more civilians, add more guards, more cameras. Cameras become bulletproof. Um, there's a guard that you can't take out because he constantly calls back to the uh, radio room. Don't make Excuse this me. difficult, just follow me. Um, there's also a QR code lock in the in the hallway here that you have to find a QR code to be able to unlock the door. All sorts of cool stuff. Which I like because it's not just a... It's harder because you, you can't take as much damage. It's It actually makes it better. Please, stay out of the restricted areas. Okay, okay? No yep. See ya. Hey, Alright, so I can there. unlock that power. In here. That's where I was before. Can't open this. I know what it's blue you can already. See which switch to flip from the monitor in the power room. Um, you can also go into the IT area, which is this here. This guy doesn't care. But there's also a power switch um, that you could potentially do there. Whoa! Guard over there. Whoa! Too quick. Alright, now we can hack this. Cable controller, blue crosshair. Okay, now flip the right switch in the control box to get us access. Okay. Run over here. Alright, so I've opened that You'll door. Need to get one of the executives to get into the vault. This is the Should tricky be easy bit. enough to identify. Just follow the smell of money. So in order to get the code, I have to grab an executive and I have to throw him onto the eye scanner on the safe. So I will be putting my mask on, but I won't be causing any alarms. That's the plan at least. Which is going to be very difficult because the van is over there. That's fine. Masking up. All right, fellas, let's do this. <laughs> I'm hoping I can just grab him and then pull him in here and just knock him out. So I'll show you what happens when you actually knock out a guard. You can't just knock him out and run away. Um, someone will try to communicate with them um, on their radio, so you have to answer the call. Yeah, I want his back turned when he's that. There we go. I think it's okay. 
Everything all right over Hello? there? Hello? No, I was watching the game. Got a bit excited. Sorry about that. Wanker. Okay, right. Uh, I think that sounds good. Oh! <laughs> okay, body's down. Now it's time to actually... Should be okay here as long as I can keep people contained. On the floor! Oh, no! That's an executive with access to the vault. Tie up. Tie up. There's someone there. Oh, Don't move God. a fucking muscle. Tie up. Excuse me, guys. Check the sieve. On the floor. Hit the floor, sunshine. DG, how you doing? All right, so we're just tying up everybody here. Reason being is there's a patrolling guard over here, so I want to make sure oh I, I'm, I'm cooperating. they can't see. Ah! Right. I think that's good there. Uh, you two should be fine. No one's going to see you. Well, there's the guard there. I could potentially take the guard out, you know. Uh, sorry about that, Central. I just burped and farted at the same time. Bloody all you can eat beans on toast buffet. Right, right. Sounds great. Yep, sure does. Die for bloody hard off. It is time for a hard off. Oh, hang on. Let me click. There we go. So we can search through his papers as well. This is interesting. We're not going to do that for this run because it means I have to go and take everyone hostage upstairs and we don't need to do that. Ad break starts in 60 seconds. This game is amazing fun when you've got a full crew, but at the same time, when everyone's trying to stealth, all it takes is for one person to screw up. You gotta restart. All right, that looks good. Let's take the executive. Hey, what are you doing? So what's going to happen is we're going to throw the the um, the executive against the scanner, and then it's going to put send the passcode to the safe door to his computer. We have to do this really quick though, without anybody seeing. saw me. It had an exclamation mark, but there was no one there, so... There is one person we should probably take care of. Who are you? On the ground! Oh my god! Close the 
door. Close the door. Alright, so we're gonna go to his computer and we're gonna get those passcodes. We have the code. Cool. Use it to open the vault. Oh, we might be able to get a safety deposit box from here. Log in, yes or no? <laughs> it's very secure at this place. It's a bank. Damn. I'm sure we'll find the deposit box anyway. We're going to hack them all. Or pick them all, rather. Okay, so it's got a possible combination at the top. The way you can figure that out is if you... One, six. Okay, one and six. So what do we have up there? Six is the, it must be the first one. Six, three, one, two. All right, and we're in. The money stacks are rigged with die packs. As soon as the door opens, you need to move fast before they go off. Okay. Tricky part is, what she just said, is all these money packs have um, like chips on them and they have a timer. There's no way I can get all of them by myself. If you've got a crew, we usually say, all right, you take the left, I'll take the front. But um, before we even do that, let's unlock these. I've got this ability that once I get rush, I get rushed from unlocking something, but then after that I can, pick something in one go. It's a really good combo for my build. And so what happens when you, you go loud on this level is it forces you to cut into the top of the safe up through the floor with thermite and you have to basically do like wave-based combat with the cops. It's not something I enjoy doing too much, especially because of my build. You can build into combat, like you can say, okay, I want to be, um, I can take more damage, I can kill people quicker, things like that. Boom shakalaka indeed. Sometimes you can find a um, grilled cheese in the, these um, safety deposits. I don't know why. Big money. Throw that down. Okay, so this is what the... Um, was in the... Executive's deposit box. Now this could be something. Looks like Wixia has made a breakthrough in quantum computing. I'm gonna follow up on this. Okay. Here's the hardest part. Well, I'll show you the, the die packs to begin with. It's always nerve wracking. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, come on, I'm waiting for the loot, guys. Yeah, most of them. I think there's like um a Blimey, gadget that allows that. you to slow down the um the Ooh, di extra die pack timer. 
I know it at least slows down cameras. Ah, cheeky. Haven't really tried it though. You can still also um hand in the die pack damage Blimey, money. Look at that. But it's just not worth as much. I'll take that. Blimey, look at that. Okay, this is the tough part. Tough part because I'm by myself. Okay, I'm going to take this body and put it in the safe because I'm going to open that door. Ferrying the cash is the it's time consuming for sure. But at least the car is in the um the parking lot at the moment. And because the seed doesn't change well that's another thing that changes with the um the seed change is the safe code. So now that I know that it was six one in fact, I've already forgotten what it is, so I can't even do it. You can usually restart and then just go straight to the safe and unlock with the same code. That way you can do it without even um, getting your gun out. You can keep your mask off. You only carry one bag at a time, but you can actually throw bags on your AI buddies on their back. But they don't... They don't come in here unless uh, the alarm goes off. Need a death stranding? Yeah. Just uh, load it all up on a backpack. Man, I can't wait for death stranding too. It's gonna be so good. So there are some missions where it starts, like the second mission, there is no mask off scenario. You start with the mask on and you have to try and um, rob a, uh, what do you call them? Um, an armored vehicle on a bridge. It's pretty cool, but I prefer the stealth aspect. And then the third mission, you actually have to um, rob a jewelry store and clean the diamonds. Because if you don't clean the diamonds, they're not worth as much. It's like a machine that you throw the bags into that cleans the diamonds for you. But in order to get into that, that room, you have to get an executive that's standing in the main main hall. It's pretty difficult. All right, last bag. So Mark and I have beaten this level on overkill, which is the absolute hardest difficulty, um, without the alarms going off or anything, which is really, really good. It's gonna be tricky. Ah! It's our last radio alarm. You okay over there? Everything's good here. Yep. No burglars or anything like that. Everything is extremely ordinary. Nothing to worry about. I see. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. One thing we could do, oh, it's risky, is I could take the people in the parking lot hostage. Oh, how many people are there? Oh, there's those people. If I can take them, tell them to get down, I'm gonna try it. If we fuck up, we fuck up, but it's worth doing. Civilian. Check the sieve. On the floor! That might actually give us... Oh, it depends on what this dude in the back does. Okay. I think we could. So, grab the money. Throw it on old mate on his back. 
There's been times where I've done a full heist and I've gone to throw the money on the back of somebody and it's missed and the guard's seen it and then it ends the mission completely, like that. Because it hit the floor. The guard goes, what's this money doing here? And then he calls in. Come on, lads. That's two. Three bags and counting. That's four bags. Yep. That's our target amount. But let's try and get some more. Let's try and get some more. I think that's four of them. They don't throw the money, which is a pain in the ass. But I think maybe the reason why they do that is because if you do put unclean gems on their back, they may throw it um, to the end without before you can even clean it. Six bags and counting. That's seven. They're good for muling the cash rather than having to run back constantly though. I mean they're slow but at least they do follow you. Alright, come on guys. all loot and then we escape in the van and then we're good did it clean didn't kill any civilians leveled up a bit unlocked a compensator yes so we could have done like obviously in harder difficulties the the payout is much bigger i think you can get up to half a mil this level Pistol accuracy, 100%. Hell yeah. Enemies killed, too. Pretty good. Pretty Becky! good. Becky! 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 Thank you, Larry. All right. So let's see what we can unlock. I don't know why you would ever want to get like Don't muzzle brakes and things. Oh, I've got to change this. This made the uh, the damage really shit. I'll try that one. Oh, there's also. Now hear me out here, there's a crypto aspect to this, but not in the way you think. Um, every... So this is the cryptocurrency at the top here, this, this 20. These allow you to buy special items, but you have to invest actual cash, which I'm going to do now. And then as you get it, it gets more expensive each time. So I'll do another 10 stack. 
Get a cheeky five stack. Another five. Actual fake cash. So the, the, the money that I rob from the bank is at the top here. I spend that to get the crypto, and the crypto allows me to buy special weapons, special outfits, things like that. So we can actually have a look. What do we have? Let's go to the arms dealer. Weapons charm. No one wants weapon charms. Come on, get out of town. For example, you can get this... What is this even? Can't afford it with 20 mil. Um, a Ziv Commando Kick Murder. Great name there. Um, I did it specifically for... Getting gloves. I mean, they're the little cosmetic things that you just buy to unlock, but, you know, whatever. Um, might save my crypto. Which is a sentence I never thought I would ever say. Okay. What kind of guns can we get? Nothing yet. I have to go up a level to get the, be able to get the Uzi 9mm. Welcome to the game. I've never seen that. What's that? We love crypto here, do we, Saiku? <laughs> Does it let you buy stuff off the dark web? I'm going to guess that that crypto stuff is like dark web stuff. Baker XP, how you doing? Uh, do I have an open lobby? Um, I don't at the moment. I'm not actually in a game, but um, I'll do do one more mission. I'll do the second mission. Um, I'll play public for the second mission, and we'll see how we go. Um, if you can jump into that, feel free. Otherwise, um, the the second mission is like full guns out. So. So you need to get back in the game. Earn some money? I have not forgotten what you did for me back in San Francisco. It is my pleasure to work with you again. I have information about an armored transport carrying a payload. I might just do it on normal. So we'll do this mission. All Estimated loot. 200 grand to 500 grand. Of electronic components. As I'm sure you realize, the cargo is worth a fortune. I want you to steal it. According to the route, the transport will pass Queensborough Bridge, which is currently undergoing renovations. It will give you an excellent opportunity to strike. I already have a buyer lined up for the rare materials, and I will make sure you are generously compensated for your efforts. Alright, let's see. Added me, hey? How did you add me? Like via um, payday... What's I'm gonna call it? Uh, payday account or whatever. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, I'll do I'll do invite only and I'll, I'll invite you in if it's that easy. We'll see how we go. We'll do it on normal though. I don't see it in there. I don't see anyone online. A Windows G it. Hmm. Send the invite again. Oh, incoming friend request. Here we go. Alright. There we 
we go. All right. I normally wouldn't um, play online, but you know, let's do it. All right. Let's just uh, ready up. So this feels right out of. Did anyone see that? What was that movie called? The diversion worked. Let's get going. It's the Jason Statham, and it's uh, like a Guy Ritchie film. Set up the EMP to stop the truck in its tracks. I'll get the EMP if you want to. Um, the clock's ticking. We have about we'll 90 going. seconds until the transport's here. Set up the EMP and make sure no civs escape, or we're done before we even get started. Get down! Why am I so unlucky? Why am I so unlucky? This guy over here, if you want to get the hard hat guy. Look out, a save. Check the save. Don't move a fucking muscle. Get away from me. Check the save. Roughly 30 seconds left. I think that's it. Oh no, there's one guy at the end. Right here. Civilian. Oh, there's two actually. There's someone there. Hold it, get down. Okay, now we wait. All right, so what's happening, guys? The is this the alarm as soon as he's realized what happened? Get ready. This um, armored truck is coming down. We're going to set an EMP off as it goes over to stop it, and then we're going to drill into the bottom of it. Yeah, the bot was running because um, Baker also ran over there. So when you have multiple people, two bots will actually, two bots will follow me, two bots will follow them. All right, so this kind of makes it turn into a... Um, the security in place to prevent this sort of takeover. Hold on a second. It turns into like an Overwatch scenario. Never mind the driver. He won't bother us. He's trained to stay in the truck.
gaps. I know Baker grabbed one, but I'm not sure where the others are. special weapon, Baker has got his, or at least he, he sent it out.
with the chopper to get the loot out of there. Okay. Light up the signal when you're ready for pickup. Okay, now hold out until the chopper's there. Fuck! I can't uh, I got some help. Oh no, there's another. Keep pushing them. Let's get out of there for fuck's sake. The cops aren't retreating this time. One left. One left. Who's got the bag? There's never any doubt that you can have this. Alright, escape. Down 
Here we are. We did. There we go. Pulled it off. I thought it was on someone's back, but then they went down. And I think when you... One civilian killed. I didn't kill no civilian. Apparently I did. Awesome. So, that is a taste of payday. Um... Yeah, we'll call it there, but uh, thank you, Baker, for joining in and, and helping me show the ropes. Um, everyone have a fantastic weekend. I will quickly see if there's anyone on to raid. Let's have a look-see. Yep, we'll send you across to Daniel. Awesome. Well, make sure you have something delicious um, this weekend, whether it be pizza or burgers or something like that. Make Eat something that makes you happy. Coffee makes me happy. That's all done now, so um, I'll get some more soon. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining, and we will see you next time.